So say hi to Juno, Quinn, and Star Bunny. Personal touch into it. Hi, hi guys. I've opened my own little shop. So excited. I've always loved art and being creative. So having a shop where I can sell all my arts and crafts was always a dream for me. But when did everything begin? Last year, I really put my mind to it. I fully committed and used all my time drawing a lot and defining my art style. Since I wanted to do this in the illustration art style and not in my usual like semi-realism art style, I learned how to draw, print, cut my stickers at home by myself. And I started to post it on Instagram every single day, but I just wasn't able to find my audience. And the dream of going to Japan was bigger anyways so I dedicated most of my time to that and I knew once I'm in Japan I couldn't continue my shop anyways so I just pushed that thought aside and focused on moving to Japan. But after living in Japan for a few months, I just couldn't shake that dream. I started to take it serious again. And by this point, I have found my small audience that was interested in my content. So I started with designing stickers again, since I love stickers. I love stickers sorry but this time it was different because i did not have the resources i had back home to make everything by myself i was researching for other methods i could find manufacturers online and i purchased my first designs At this point, I had so many ideas, but I had to tone it down and decide for a few designs to put my time and money in. At this time, I was almost working full time and the rest of my week, I was just making YouTube videos every single day. So there wasn't so much time actually, but I managed it. Bro, I spent every time I had on this. I did not go out with friends at this time. <laughs> Through making dozens of sketches, I realized I kept drawing these three girls over and over again. So say hi to Juno, Quinn and Star Bunny. I decided to revolve my first launch around those three characters. So I created a keychain to combine all three of them. It truly turned out perfect. I love it so much. With a cute star clip. Since I manufactured my first items, I really wanted to bring a personal touch into it. So I created some handmade bunny keychains. And through making my keychains, I encountered a lot of problems actually. Like finding the right clay and beads was hard. to better materials to make it more durable but then i also had to buy new tools because the old ones weren't good enough anymore so for a few months i was spending all my time i had into creating items for my shop i don't know if these are good enough or if i should go for these but so expensive After creating my first products, I was thinking, where can I sell my products? After a lot of consideration, I decided to make my own website. Since I love design and branding, I thought it's the perfect idea. In the beginning, it looked so rough. I had to learn so much. I struggled a lot to build it from scratch, but I thought it's a fun idea. Meanwhile, something unexpected happened. I got fired and even though this really bothered me because I got scared whether I can stay in Japan or not, I realized I have to use this opportunity to put all my effort into this project or in general into the things I love and my personal goals. As Gen Z would say, 
I logged in. I finished all my items. I took all the product photos. I spent hours in Photoshop editing them. I finished my website. Also finished my Etsy store for international buyers. Back to today. I finally made it. Everything's done. Everything's done. It's done. It's ready to launch. So actually it, it is launched. You can go onto my website right now. Can you believe it? It would make me so happy if you could like just check it out. It's linked below. I poured so much effort into it. Like just the design of the website itself. I'm happy enough if you just look at that. <laughs> and maybe you'll find something you like and want to buy. <laughs> um, yeah. That's the story, how I created my own little shop. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hollywood Hills forever. Bless you. Ciao, cacao.